Hi, I'm Rob Gooding from Accentuate Staffing. In honor of our 25th year in business, we decided we wanted to support uh, five local charities that are making a significant impact in the local community. And our first charity we wanted to highlight is Transitions Life Care and Transitions Kids. Thank you. We're very excited and thank you very much for the donation. We really appreciate it. Um, Transitions Life Care started in 1979, actually as Hospice of Wake County, um, providing hospice services just within Wake County, and since then, over the past 40 years, has expanded to multi-counties all around. We also provide palliative care, home health, and about five years ago, we had the opportunity to start the Transitions Kids program. And so that program is focused specifically on kids um, who have serious illness and need extra support at home, whether that's palliative care, whether that's hospice care, um, and so we provide those services to them. Great. How many how many people have you got? Do you guys help in a in a normal year? Yeah. So we've served at this point over 200 families. Um, every year we serve around 80 to 90 individual families on the program, uh, and we have a lot of families that we've served from the beginning of our program, and we still are working with today. Well, I got exposed to transitions when my grandmother was um, kind of near near the end of life, and um, we moved her in with my mom and dad, and then um, I think it was Hospice of Wake County at that point came out, and it was just, it was like angels came to, to really help through that process and everything else. It really made an impact on us and our family, and that was one reason we thought Transitions would be a great organization to to support during this because you guys are doing some great work Thank you. for, we for appreciate families that. And, and everything in the community. And where's your facility located here? Off of Trinity Drive. Um, our main administrative offices are there as well as our inpatient hospice facility. Um, we serve majority of our patients actually in the community at their homes. Um, we uh, serve everybody um, who requires services regardless of ability to pay, regardless of insurance. Um, it's most important that anyone who needs our service has access to that service, which really sets us apart from other community resources that aren't always able to do that. And are there any particular needs that you guys have in as, as an organization um, that the community could help support? Yeah, so I think you know one of the biggest things is our indigent care fund. So again, it's providing services to people who don't have insurance, and that's, again, all of our services available. Um, and that's true on our kids' side as well as our adult side. And so we definitely have money that goes towards that so that we can provide those services. Um, we also, on the kids' side, the reimbursement structure for pediatric services is pretty limited. And so we actually rely 100% on philanthropic support for our kids' program to function. And so we definitely use money for the day-to-day -day operations, the supplies our families need. Um, we do a lot of grief support in the community, and so all of that is something we don't actually get money for, so we use those funds to be able to do those. And if people were interested in learning more about Transitions Life Care, yeah. Transition Kids, what's the best place for them to? So definitely our website would be transitionslifecare.org, and that has sort of a variety of different ways people can get involved. We have a lot of volunteer work, we have the ability to both um, go in the community to provide support to patients as well as administrative volunteer work. Um, people can also make donations on that site as well and they can choose to have it go to a specific program or just to go to a general fund.